हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मीनाक्षी राना एंड टूडे यू विल लर्न अबाउट इंटीरियर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द अर्थ फर्स्टली आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट अर्थ अर्थ इज अवर होम प्लेनेट साइंटिस्ट बिलीव अर्थ एंड इट्स मून फॉर्म्ड अराउंड द सेम टाइम एज द रेस्ट ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम इट इज बिलीव द अर्थ इज नियरली फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलियन ईयर्स अगो इन द बिगनिंग इट वॉज इन अ मोल्टन फॉर्म gradually it cooled to form the solid outer crust it consists of many concentric layers like the layers of an onion it is the fifth largest planet in the solar system then let's see interior of the earth we can easily observe and understand the interior of the earth but it is practically impossible to study the earth's interior in a similar way it is because the temperature inside the earth increases as the depth increases now we can discuss about layers of the earth the earth has been divided into three main layers first layer is crust middle layer is mantle and the last layer is core now see the first layer which is crust crust is the outermost layer of the earth and we live on it the earth's crust is like the skin of an apple it is very thin in comparison to the other three layers the crust is only about 8 km thick under the oceans and about 32 km thick under the continents the continental crust is known as sial it is derived from the first two letters of the most abundantly found elements si silicon and al aluminum found in this layer and the part of the earth's crust under the ocean is oceanic crust which is known as sima it is derived from the first two letters of the most abundant elements si silicon and ma magnesium found in this layer the oceanic crust is much thinner than the continental crust varying from 5 km to 10 km in the thickness after crust here comes mantle layer mantle is the next layer below the crust which extends up to a depth of about 2900 km it is located directly under the sima and is largest layer of the earth the rocky material of mantle is composed mainly of compounds of silica magnesium and some iron the mantle is composed of very hot this layer of rock even flow like asphalt under a heavy weight this flow is due to great temperature differences from the bottom to the top of that mantle the movement of the mantle is the reason that the plates of the earth move the temperature of the mantle varies from 1600 degrees fahrenheit and at the top to about 4000 degrees fahrenheit near the bottom the uppermost part of the mantle which is rich in minerals and is solid along with the crust is called lithosphere and the average thickness of the lithosphere is about 100 km This rigid layer includes the brittle upper portion of the mantle and the crust. The lithosphere is divided into 15 major tectonic plates and it is at the boundary of these plates where major tectonic occurs such as earthquake and volcanoes. From the base of lithosphere to a depth of about 400 km, there is a zone of soft dense and highly viscous rock material called asthenosphere. the temperature and pressure of the asthenosphere is so high rocks are soften and partly melt mantle rocks of the asthenosphere flow and cause the lithospheric plate to move at last we will see core below the mantle at the depth of about 2900 km there is a layer called core the earth's core is the part of the earth in the middle of our planet it is composed mainly of metals heavy metals are found in the core with the abundance of nickel ni and iron fe it is also known as knife due to heavy external pressure and internal heat the temperature of this layer is estimated to be 5000 degree celsius no substance can remain in a solid state at this high temperature core is divided into two parts a liquid outer core and a solid inner core now see outer core the core of the earth like a bowl of very hot metals temperature is 4000 degrees fahrenheit to 9000 degrees fahrenheit the outer core is so hot 
that the metals in it are all in the liquid state the outer core is located about 1800 miles beneath the crust and it is about 1400 miles thick it is composed of the melted metals nickel and iron then inner core the inner core of the earth has temperatures and pressures so great that the metals are squeezed together and are not able to move about like a liquid but are forced to vibrate in a place as a solid the inner core begins about 4000 miles beneath the crust and is about 800 miles thick the temperature may reach 9000 degrees fahrenheit so these were all three layers of the earth if you enjoyed this video please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day